Okay, mock up of Auto Union Porsche style front suspension using cut down Miata MX5 Mark 1 anti roll bars, tie rod ends, Gemini stub axle hubs pit bike wheels okay so the suspension side of it isn't going to work on torsion bar I'm going to work on lever and spring probably a rubber spring rubber cone uh, parabolic spring but these are early days calculations the calculation was whether I get the wheel lock whether I'll be able to get the movement in each side of the suspension system and how the fixing and attachment points are going to be. So, I've mocked up a very rudimentary parallel arm system. Let's have a look here. So you can see the arms are set parallel to each other. It turned out with those particular um, ball joints the length of them meant that I needed a 50 mil packer between the two sets of pillow blocks so what have we got we've got the ability to move up and down parallel hard to see from this side You see there there's about four inch of travel and we'll be able to use all that not on a cycle car the lock on the wheels is better than my other cycle car and my other cycle car's damn good in fact it's probably too much lock I won't need lock to lock all of that it's come out at over tyres with a about 500 mil wide chassis a metre just under slightly under um, I'm going to hold it all in some metal somehow but uh, brain's still working on that you can see that the pillow blocks are set off to the caster one behind the other and the control arms being the same length and the same distance at one end as the other you've got a parallelogram and that means you get parallel suspension movement so all the angles remain constant as it goes up and down as per the original Porsche the original Porsche had a damping system in the upper arm and the spring system in the lower arm which is what I attend, intend to replicate if I can these are too long, that's the centre line of the chassis. Just there, it's hard to see. There. So the lower arm will have at that point there welded to it some kind of lever going that direction and it will bear against a conical rubber spring. Now these are my first pot of coal. That massive elliptical bump stops. We're going to give those a try. See if we can make those work. And if we can, I've got a front suspension system that, and here's the big thing about this car, because it's the Auto Union, the Auto Union had that kind of front suspension, um, but it was mid engined, rear wheel drive, and the pilot driver sat very far forward in it so in doing that my plan is to take these arms through keep that end but take them through and have the attachment point of the steering equidistant from there to there still keeping Ackerman which I've got plenty of room for and have the steering rack in this position here so the driver can actually get his feet forward of the axle on the pedals 
which will give me enough room to put the driver further forward, a mid-engine and a rear wheel drive. So that's the thinking so far. Lots and lots of work before I get it to a rolling chassis, but I've got the general bits of it now. That's one side. I've got another anti-roll bar to make the other side with. Um, a few bearings, a bit of welding, some thinking and scratching heads, and we might, might just have the makings of a chassis. Time will tell.